So what's the deal with the booster shot that we're hearing so much about? Do we need one or not? Pfizer is meeting with U.S. health officials today after announcing last week a booster shot to go along with their vaccine may be needed within a year. They are currently seeking approval for a third dose of their vaccine. Now, the FDA and CDC came out quickly over the weekend to say that Americans don't need a booster shot right now. So, of course, who are we going to turn to to help us sort all this out? Let's roll her out once again. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins. What is going on with this? Oh, there are three things we need to remember okay. that uh, everybody needs to keep in mind. First of all, it is not up to Pfizer or any other pharmaceutical company to say we need a booster. The government will take in their data and their research, but they're also going to look at real world data to make the call of when it's time. So what are we watching for? Well, with the Delta variant now making up more than 40 percent of new cases, the canary in the coal mine is when we start seeing vaccinated people getting sick and needing hospitalization. So likely the elderly or the first inoculated like the healthcare care Workers will be the ones who need boosters first. Who may need a booster now? Well, those who are in the clinical trials. It's been nearly a year since their initial doses. These are the people who will help us with the data, and University Hospitals will begin booster shots with its trial participants in the next few days. I think that the federal government was just trying not to create panic um, in terms of people saying, oh, well, Pfizer says we need a booster. No, what Pfizer says is they're going to start looking at boosters. And the federal government was saying at this point, you know, people who have been vaccinated don't need one. And I think that at some point the two will come together once Pfizer has the data and the federal government feels it's time. And then we'll go ahead and, and give people boosters if needed. So studies suggest that the two doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine offer good protection against the highly transmissible Delta variant, especially in reducing risk of severe illness and hospitalizations. However, Pfizer told the Associated Press last week that their early data from their booster study shows antibody rates jump five to tenfold after a third dose. But again, there is still a lot of research needed. For instance, we have antibody tests, but we, know, we don't know the number of antibodies, also known as titers, that are needed to help prevent infection. So hopefully we're going to get that additional data in the coming weeks. I can see how that would be very tricky. Yes, they're there, mm -hmm. but are they there in abundance to fight the, the virus? And titers we know, like when you get the measles shot or, you know, any other type of vaccine, we know we can look at your, take your blood, look at your titers and see if right. you have enough to prevent it. And like the measles, you know, typically most people need it every 10 years. Yeah. So you've told us here time and again, and most most of the headlines that we see tell us that the vaccines that we've been given are good enough to protect us against this Delta variant. But I saw recently there was a study out of Israel that shows the Pfizer vaccine in particular is not as effective against the Delta variant. So what is it? Yeah, you and my sister-in-law both hammering me on this. <laughs> like, what's going on, Monica? Okay, so Dr. Hoyan says Israel has been testing everybody for COVID, testing everybody. And they also have a phenomenal vaccination rate among their citizenry. So they are finding cases among asymptomatic people. She also said that we're learning that asymptomatic people don't transmit as well as somebody who's coughing or sneezing, for example. So while Israel's data shows the vaccine efficacy dropped to 64%, What's most important is that they also found the vaccine is still 93% effective in preventing hospitalizations and severe symptoms. And that's what we care about. Mm. Every, by, you know, by this time in five years, everybody's going to have COVID at one point. We want to keep people out of the hospital, and that's why the, vac yeah. the vaccines are so important. It is so important. Makes get it, sense. Get it done if you didn't do it, yeah. if you can. Certainly. All right, Monica, thank you. Sure.